Front row here, MMA here with Jeremy Petley. Just a few minutes after his sec second round submission win over Dyson Roberts. Jeremy, what a great fight. The first round. Did it go the way you wanted it to? Mm -hmm. uh, and what did the corner reckon, tell you? you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, getting punched in the face numerously isn't exactly what I planned. Uh, saying that, I knew what Dyson had. I knew the boy had fast hands. I knew he could take down defense. Otherwise, I mean, I guess it came down to it when I got a little desperate. I was shooting in again and again on him, on him and telegraphing my shots a little bit. It's not what I wanted, but when you get hit in the head a lot, sometimes <laughs> it's, you sort of go back to your last resort, but you know? Does it, did, his, did his power and his resilience on his feet when you were working the single legs and stuff up against the cage, did that definitely, surprise you at all? Yeah, definitely. His defense was, was better than I knew it was good, but it was better than I thought. You know, I've been working on wrestling a lot, and he really had an answer for just about everything. Well, so your sec the second round, you came up, at, came out, and it was like a different game plan. You came out, you kept distance a lot more. You didn't didn't shoot in, and then when you did, you made it count. How, how would you how would you summarize your second round? Pushing the pace wasn't working for me. I had to bide my time. He's still, you know, he's still out striking me. But you know, I knew that if I kept my distance and waited for my shots, all I had to do was make sure he didn't keep on didn't keep on tagging me. I thought that I could, you know, uh, find a window opportunity. I just needed one chance, and uh, I saw that, and I took it because I knew my jujitsu would prevail. Well, you know, you, again, you also showed that you've got a beard there as well because he landed some pretty heavy elbows, a couple of heavy shots. Uh, again, you know, is that something that, you know, is, as a fighter, you, you were prepared to take that to find the art, to this find is, the submission? This is my 13th professional fight. I've taken a few beatings. Uh, probably not that one-sided before, to be honest. I mean, the boy put a beating on me. I'm not going to lie to you, but you know what takes a great champion and. Uh, a great fighter is uh, is uh, being able to uh, battle back in the face of adversity, and I, I've got heart. That's the one thing I can well, say. You, you got heart and balls the size of grapefruit. <laughs> the the transition much, yeah. for the finish was awesome. Look, uh, I know you've just finished the fight. And there's guys waiting. Is there anyone you want to give a shout out to? Anyone you want to say thank you to? Uh, for my work colleagues, at Nuffield Health, coming down and supporting me. Uh, there was a whole army of them, so thank you guys. Uh, to my girlfriend Camila for putting up with all my shit, for being there supporting me throughout you know, the hell that uh, as an MMA fighter you can put your girlfriend through, uh, to my family at London Fight Factory who've been there with me all the way, who have beat me up, taken beatings for me, just to get me ready for the fight. So thank you everyone who supported me, everyone who's doubted me, thank you. Because I wouldn't be here without you guys. Well, on behalf of Front Row MMA, I want to say congratulations. And that's a hefty, that's a hefty scalp you've just Thanks, taken. Very we very look forward to seeing yeah. you fight again. Cheers, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.